All right, we're on. Uh, one second. Cool. So here we are, uh, 25th of September. We have uh, myself, Tim Jacob, and John on the call. Um, just going through the agenda. Um, I don't believe there's been any, been any release since the last one. Um, 16 days ago, no. Um, I had a ch chat with Oleg on it on Friday and he asked to do the next release. And I think the plan was to do it on Friday, but we didn't end up doing it. Um, I'll ping him after this and see if he wants to do a release soon. Um, we have a couple of changes pending. Uh, the check for Nell to help the Sonar Cube um, plugin fix. Um, a, a new beta schema, which works better than the old one, but well, it, it, it works, but doesn't do everything we want it to do. Um, and there's a follow up pull request to improve it. Um, and also removing the old one that really didn't work. Um, and um, some Java doc updates and JSON schema documentation. And we have a recent con uh, contribution which just got merged this morning, which was uh, moving, um, well, validating some of the demos from the integration tests. There's a new um, configured with readme, ah, just happened now, uh, configured with readme annotation, um, which will read from the demos folder um, and validate uh, any of the demos that have been set up. So I think only two or three we set up in this pull request for the follow-up pull request to do the rest of them. But here this is automatically validating the Active Directory um, demo it looks for the markdown in the readme file, um, which is really good. So it means that um, the demos, we know they work. And if we want to, and we can bump the version in the integration test and see that uh, the demo is still valid on the new version. Um, so it should be really useful. Uh, we see on the traffic stats that we get um, quite a lot, quite a lot of people viewing the demos. So um, hopefully that's useful. Um, I remember it was a, about a couple months ago, which is basically <laughs> the most of the time I use is basically just updating the demos for every version that did some changes and to keep up the, uh, the, ver the demos of the different plugins. Yeah, so yeah, I, I certainly used it a lot more when the export feature didn't work as well. Mm -hmm. um, export works pretty well for me now, so in general I just configure an export. Um, but I think it's probably quite useful, especially people coming from Google or just having to look and just build it from scratch. Um, so we have an a new integration test with GitHub branch source um, and a adding GitHub actions as a backup CI. Just check whether Travis was removed or not. I don't think Travis has been removed yet. I know Joseph was having some issues. It didn't look like it was actually triggering um, because GitHub Actions is now on the Jenkins CI, or, um, Jenkins CI organization. Um, so we'll see how that goes. It's more just, it's more there for when the uh, Jenkins CI um, free, free CI breaks and we've got a, we've got a backup basically. We've had a couple of times where it's been down for a day or really flaky. Um, so that's it on the, so there's been no new releases, but those are the pending changes. Um, ongoing development, JKS de Bomb was merged in the last week or two. Um, and I think the bomb, so yes, yeah, a week ago, and let's just see if it's been released. So it's now been released in at least 2.176.4. Um, I'm not quite sure how the other LTS lines are released. Maybe, ah, oh, here we go. Uh, 
it doesn't look like it's been backported. Um, so anyways, the people who are on who are on the 2.176 release line uh, can get cask in the bomb. Uh, so you won't need to specify the configuration as code version for uh, the main plugin and for the tests, um, which is nice. It means as you bump your versions and Dependabot bumps them, you don't have to maintain it. Um, we've already gone through demo validation. Um, Jason schema. Um, docs. Uh, features. Jason schema. Um, so there's a pretty big warning at the top that says that this will this will definitely change um, before um, we mark it as a GA feature, um, but it's current in, the, in its current state. Um, it works as far as uh, the descriptors. It so it describes the configuration, but um, it doesn't give you any auto completion and it doesn't um, provide any documentation, um, and it doesn't tell you if the attributes are wrong either. The only thing it really does at the moment is tells you if you get the data types wrong. So if you put so the example when we um, when we merged it was with system message. If you put an int instead of a string, it will complain, um, but it doesn't do a lot more than that right now. Although it's actively being worked on um, in the JCAS Developer Tools project. Mm -hmm. um, system read. Um, so this pull request is still outstanding, but we'd uh, really like to get it in. Um, it's currently um, been reviewed by Daniel Beck once or twice, um, and Oluk has said he'll review it a couple of times, just waiting for him to get back to it. Um, but yeah, if anyone wants to review this, uh, it would be quite useful, as it's really just waiting on um, reviews, especially from the security team. Uh, just a background on it, it's to give a new permission um, that allows users to see the system configuration but not change it. Um, so, in a, so in the case of a fully configured as code Jenkins, uh, you'll, you can allow your users to export configuration and see all the options and see what's installed, um, which will help them contribute um, to to your config. But they can't they can't make any changes. And the other side of it is your administrator um, is blocked from configuring it through the UI. Um, they can go and see the settings, but if they ever want to change the settings, they have to come in through the, the um, automation. So it's quite, it's quite applicable to the configurations code plugin. Uh, December Jenkins LTS wishlist. Um, this was discussed two meetings ago and briefly last meeting. Um, I think Oleg hasn't had any time to send it to the dev list, um, but we'll ping him about this. Um, Sladen wasn't able to make this call, so we will skip the developer tool update other than what I've already gone through. Um, Hacktoberfest 2019 is coming up in a week. Um, if anyone has any newbie friendly issues, um, it would be great to suggest them and we can um, flag them. Currently we have one good first issue. It would be nice to get some more. And that's it for everything on the agenda. Uh, John, do you have anything else? Mm, nope, not really. Cool. Well, I guess we'll have it as just a, a short one uh, since we've got a small group today. <laughs> yeah.